So, dear learners, in this problem of motion of connected bodies, two blocks of weight 150 and 50 Newton are connected by a string which is passing over frictionless pulleys as shown in this figure. We need to find the acceleration of the blocks and tension in the string. We need to find the acceleration of the block and tension in the string. In this case, two pulleys are used okay, to support these two loads. This is a common system you might have seen in uh, many places where <coughs> it, it is used to reduce the effort to raise this load of say, say 150 here. Okay. So how can we find out the acceleration of the blocks and the tension in the string? Now, as usual, we have to consider each block separately, draw the free body diagram, form the equations, then solve those equations to get the required solution. Here the pulleys, we need not consider the weight because it is given as frictionless pulley. So obviously it is not having any weight and it is not having any friction. And of course the string should also be weightless and it is inextensible as well as it should be flexible. Okay. So for that, two, three points we need to consider. First is tension in the string. What will be tension <coughs> in the string on these portions? <coughs> As the pulleys are frictionless and weightless, also the string is also friction, uh, weightless, the tension on all these portions of the string will be same. Tension will be same. Okay. Second thing. What about the acceleration of the bodies? Will they be equal or be different? If it is different, by how much? These two things also we have to think about. So, acceleration means Okay, so acceleration is downwards. Let A be the acceleration. In this arrangement, B will move upwards. Some surely law. B will move upwards, but the, what will be the magnitude of acceleration? Okay, it will be 2a. It will be 2a. The reason is, assume that the block B has moved through 10 centimeters downwards. Okay, then this block that is 50 newton block will be moving upwards by 20 centimeters it is because for a given movement of this block these two portions of the string must be moved through the same distance then only this will move through that distance okay if only if one portion is being moved or half of that is being uh, moved then this portion also will be moving the half okay so to solve this I will show you a demonstration of this concept
same. Here, I have two pulleys. So, uh, this pulley is supported on this bar. This pulley is freely put on this loop. This pulley is carrying a load of say as in our case 150 Newton and here is a load of 50 Newton. Okay. To demonstrate the concept, uh, I have uh, marked 7, uh, six, seven centimeters from 0 to 7. These are centimeters and I have put a, put a uh, pointer also. Here, I have marked through 0 to 4, four uh, that is 4 centimeters, 0 to 4, 4 centimeters. Okay, now I will pull this block through 6 centimeters and just see by how much this pointer will move. Okay, we will start. So I am pulling it down to 3, 4, 5, 6. I have reached 6. By how much it has this, uh, this block that is 150 block is reached. It has moved through only 3 centimeters. See, it has moved through only 3 centimeters. So, when this block was moved through 6 centimeters, this was moved through only 3 centimeters. That is half of movement of this one. Then, if I pull this downwards, when I reach the zero, that is three centimeters down, then how much it moved? Six centimeters. When this block was moved through three centimeters, this was moved through. 6 centimeters okay once again if you want to see see this is 6 now it is at 3 then similarly downwards see so as the movement is through half of this one for this block <coughs> The acceleration will also be that way. That is, if A is the acceleration for this block, this block will be moving at 2A. Okay. Or if this is A, this will have A by 2. I hope it is clear. Okay. Now let us solve this problem. For that, we will consider each block separately and apply the equations. Okay. So let us consider block B first, that is a 50 Newton block, 50 Newton block B. Okay, draw the free body diagram. This is 50 Newton acting vertically downwards, T tension upwards, okay, then if you assume that this is moving down, this will be moving upwards. So it is 2A upwards. Okay. It is moving upwards. Okay. Then applying the uh, Newton's second law of motion, what we will get is moving upwards. 
t is positive t minus 50 equal to equal to m b into a b or if you want you can put it as uh, the variable t minus okay let me w b so when you substitute the values t minus 50 equal to m b is 50 by 9.81 into a b where a b is 2a a is the acceleration of block a with the 150 newton weight okay let this be equation number one okay then for block a we have this is 150 You may be wondering why I have put it, uh, two tensions on block A, isn't it? Actually, instead of putting this block here, if the block was somehow somewhat uh, round, we could have put it here <coughs> like a pulley. If it was uh, like a disc, we could have put it here. Then on this block, this two tension will be acting, isn't it? On these two sides of the or two portions of the string. So this. Uh, as this pulley is stri uh, strongly connected to this block that is using a rigid connection this block will also have the same number of tension as if this is a single block as if this is a single block if there is a single block this is the block of this block. That's why I have two tensions. Do you understand? Acceleration is the value A. We will assume that the W weight of the block is 150. We will have two tensions. This is the two single block. That's why this is the two tensions. That's why the effect is equally applicable. Okay, so the, here it will be two tension and here it is 150 Newton vertically downwards and the acceleration is downwards and the magnitude is A. Clear or not? We don't know if you use this effort to change the effort. This is the effect of the tension effect. Okay, then we will form the equation. So according to Newton's second law, sigma F equal to MA or if you want you can apply D. Lambert's principle, sigma f minus ma equal to 0, whereas minus ma is inertia force. Here, sigma f equal to for 150 Newton block A, sigma f equal to ma, that will give you, what is sigma f? It is moving down in the direction of weight, 150 taken as positive, then minus 2t equal to m a into a a so that is 150 minus 2t equal to m a is 150 by 9.81 into a because acceleration of a is a like this so this is equation number two Okay, so now we have two equations in T and A. First equation, here also two unknowns. As we have two equations, we can easily solve these two equations simultaneously and we will get the value of uh, A and T. That is actually the answer to the question. When the enum, say 2 into 1 plus 2. 2t isn't it 50 into 2 minus 100 plus 2t equal to 2 into 50 
100 by 9.81 into 2a or 200 that will be hundreds hundreds 100 by 9.81 into 2a okay so when you add this up you will get 50 this will get cancelled equal to or if you want you can multiply or divide okay no problem we, we will get 50 is equal to 150 that is a by Nine point eight one into one fifty plus hundred. One fifty plus hundred into two, two hundred. Okay, so this will be fifty into nine point eight one. divided by 350 equal to a okay and you will, you will get a is equal to 1.402 meter per second square one of the answers 1.402 meter per second square is the acceleration of block a therefore acceleration of block b is so this is a a and acceleration of block a b equal to 2 into 1.402 equal to 2.804 meter per second square is the acceleration of block b okay now to find out the tension what to do that is the simplest thing isn't it simply substitute value of a in any of these equations okay so if you put a is equal to 1.402 in equation number 1 we will get t equal to 64.28 newton so that is the answer so here the two points uh, we need to keep in mind is that the tension will be same on all the portions of the string because of the given condition that is smooth and frictionless pulley then another thing is with this arrangement the acceleration of these blocks are related as in this case the bigger block will be moving down with the acceleration a that is assumption we have made so this uh, lighter one the smaller one will move with two times of acceleration of a in the opposite direction okay with this condition you can easily solve this question right thank you